Rogers Review. We're out here for the National Memorial Day concert, and I'm here with Mr. B.D. Wong. How are you doing? I'm great, Harry. <laughs> and first of all, uh, I'm like just blown meeting you because, of course, you know, all the work that you did on Law and Order, oh, um, wow. the Monkey King doing Buddha's voice, and then, of course, King of Clubs. So <laughs> yeah, you thanks. have been busy. So what story are you going to be telling us um, for the um, Memorial Day concert? I'm telling the story of Vietnam vet and Gold Star father, Alan Ho. Um, who has an incredible story of not only serving in Vietnam and um, the, that experience, but as a Gold Star father, um, being the dad of a, of a, of a young man that uh, was killed in Iraq. And the incredible um, tradition of, 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 of service that's in his family and in, in Hawaii where he is from, and um, uh, there's a few kind of wonderful plot twists and reveals in the story, which are wonderful. And um, I, I just heard a term today about um, wall magic, which is um, things that happen surrounding or near the Vietnam wall, wall, wall Memorial. And that this story is one of those examples of, of, of wall magic. Yeah. And this is like a very special time for a lot of people because it's, you know, full of remembrance and, mm -hmm. and celebration of our soldiers. And then and also now, we're looking at by it being um, AAPI month and in juxtaposition to um, Pride Month coming up. What are some and advocacy, now, advocacy programs that you're working on that you want to let people know about? There are, it is always an incredible spring summer for me with AAPI month going into Pride Month. I mean, these identities are very rich in my body and in my heart, and so em embracing those and celebrating them and uh, celebrating and uh, supporting organizations that are also celebrating is really important to me. So it's a very busy time for me, and I, I love it. I'm involved in so many organizations. Um, one of them that comes to mind is, is called Apex for Youth, uh, a, a group that uh, supports Asian kids as students and all of the challenges and mental health concerns that they might have specific to their own community and uh, a lot of those kids are queer kids and so there's an overlap there for me um, I just think it's and you know my son was born on Memorial Day weekend so I have a, a real nostalgia for Memorial Day weekend as a, as a reminder of how uh, life is precious and how while we celebrate certain things, we also have to commemorate other things. Right. And I think that's really important. I think it's really important that we don't think of Memorial Day as just a day off. You know, right. that we're here to, to kind of remind us, all of us, ourselves and the people, and that's why a nationwide telecast is really important, to honor the vets and to understand what it is they're doing and understand that commitment that, for me, I mean, I isn't a part of my DNA the way it is for them. And so I am so grateful to them for having that commitment and passion. Um, and so grateful that someone will do that. You know, it takes a village, right? right. It takes all kinds. And in this time when we are um, having a big discussion about democracy itself, we do understand that defending our country is a huge part right. of Defending that. Defending to come along with you. That's right, right, right. Do you have any uh, plans to see any of the sites while you're here as well? I don't have time. I mean, they've got the they've got the schedule really full, um, so I don't think I can. I mean, it's it's an incredible process to put this concert together. That I'm, I'm really privileged and um, really psyched to be a part of, like really to experience it. It's really cool. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And it's odd, of course, that they stop singing oh, right when we get to the end. You can circle back if you want. But thank you, Cynthia Arrivo. Thank you so much, Thank sir. You, Harry.